Hello everyone, this is Teacher K and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Are you a math or physics teacher? Or perhaps you are an online math or physics shooter? Are you looking for a platform that will make problem solving easier in distance learning? That is having a platform that will allow you and your students to write your solution, draw graphs, shapes, and forms on a collaboration platform? Well, if you are that person like me, I would like to recommend Hey Hi just for you. If you're in for a quick tutorial and review of this platform, then keep on watching. Hey Hi! So we'll start with a simple walkthrough on how to use this platform. All you have to do is open your browser and type in heyhi.sg. Then it should bring you to this screen. It's because I already signed in, but all you have to do is if you, I'll try incognito. Payhigh.sg. It should bring you to this, and you just have to log in or sign up. It's, it's really easy. Just log in with Google or sign up with Google. Just try it out here. If you're new to Payhigh, your name, your email address, and your password to create an account. But because I already signed up, so this is how it looks like on my end. So you have here the calendar library where you can upload documents or worksheets. If you have concerns, you also have a support ticket right here. So going back to the dashboard, just click new meeting and here are the options that you can choose from. So starting from classroom up to four people wherein all participants can interact on the video call. And you have the Lecture Plus, where guests can video call with a host, but they cannot see or hear other guests because it's a bigger size. And if you have 30, yes, the host can share video and audio, and guests can ask the host for permission to speak. Live stream is up to 50, but only the host can share video and audio. Then you have lastly the whiteboard that is up to 100 and all participants will communicate via chat messages. Well, for me, I'll just choose the classroom and either schedule the meeting or start the meeting. But I'll start with my meeting name. Let's say this is physics class. This is a personal account. If I want to choose schedule meeting, I can just choose the date from this calendar, set it. And then the duration, maximum of 120 right here, and 30. But if you can end it or end this, if you want to end this earlier, it's also fine. And I can choose a time here and then schedule meeting. It says here screen lock for all upon entry, meaning the guests or participants cannot do anything on the screen just yet unless you enable them. All right. And also, you have the option to disable the chat box for this meeting. Okay, instead of going to the meeting, I want to go back to the dashboard because I want to have a class right now. So, I'll rename this one as physics class by Teacher K. Still classroom and I want to start the meeting. Okay, so here's the deal. You give the meeting ID, the access code, or you give the meeting link to your student. There, Teacher K, that's my display name and the meeting right here. And I have maximum of four guests. I'm gonna join the meeting next. Okay, this one is Carol. That's the iPad. And this one is me, the one who started the meeting. Okay, now I just want to show you, I'm gonna put myself here. I'll show you the features starting with the thickness, options, color options for your pen, and later on for your drawings. 
Starting with the pen, you can choose the thickness and the colors readily available. Based on observation, writing here using my mouse is smoother compared to the other platforms that I tried. One example is Deskle or Google Jamboard. So this one is smoother based on experience. Next is the highlighter. So if you want to upload a text or a picture, you can highlight the, the certain portion or a certain text in your picture using this highlighter. And then the pointer to emphasize something during class. Eraser to erase. And the thing is, um, it erases the grid behind whatever you want to erase. So that, I think, is a thing that this platform can still improve on. Next will be the line. So you can draw the line, the rectangle, you have circle. I'll change my color. Or you can have an ellipse, triangle, and polygon. Yeah. So you have the power to draw your own polygon. Next is text. There. Here you can change the magnification from 0.5 to 1 to 2. Next is insert image. You can add an image here. For example, I want to add this image there. Or you can also add PDF. Next, you can zoom in have to click this one and zoom out you can undo or redo whatever you did plus you have guest settings right here so in the guest settings you can check if they can edit or not you can tick if they can speak or not show webcam or if they can chat there you go. And there's also a chat feature right here. You can chat to your students. You can add files. Same thing. And you can also do this. Another thing is that you can also have libraries where you can upload your files. Like this one that I already added in my library. You have the option to restore the screen or clear the board. So I'm going to delete everything. Or if I'm too lazy, I can just add a board and switch from one board to another. So here I already have, so let's go to the third board which is empty and let's insert an image. Okay, so let me show you how this is done in my context. So I'll insert an image from my computer, this one. Here it is. Okay, here. So this is a very common problem that we solve in my class. It's called alternative to practical. If you're familiar with IGCSE, we do this together. We um, do practical activities, but not in actual context, but through this paper. We are imagining that we are doing the experiment itself. So the data is already provided and some of the data you need to fill it out based on whatever principle is being discussed or targeted here. So in this case, it's easier for me since I don't need to go from one app to another for me to show this to my pupils. It's all is platform. Hey, hi. So if I want to emphasize this one, I just have to click the highlighter. If I want to add something like a note here, I can use that function or if I want to underline anything that I want to underline, I'll just use this there. Another thing that makes this task easier here in AI is that this graph can be easily done using the line. So here I can label the X and Y axis. Let's, let's say this is plot a graph of a vertical axis against B 
A versus B. Have B here. And they should go or start from the origin 0, 0. So let's say I already plotted my points. I'll change my thickness. This is not exact. I'm just trying to make it faster. I'll add a line starting from 0, 0, best fit line there. So this is easier compared to using other platforms. As I told you, this one is very smooth. But the thing is, if you are not comfortable or if you want it to be easier, you can actually use this feature which is draw with touch, which is a good thing. All you have to do is scan this QR code right here and it should bring you to Hey Hi. By the way, you should have an app ready for this. So download it, K-iPad, meeting ID. Okay, I'm in. So if I want to draw, I'm using the iPad right now. I can easily draw on it using touch. But I notice that there are no options for the shape. Because again, you're doing it by touch. Yeah, if you are to draw something like if you are if you want to if you want to ask your students to draw a free body diagram, this is easier. This is weight and the other one is normal force or reaction force. Okay, now I'm switching as a teacher from board three to board four, which is an empty one. And automatically my student, which is the iPad that I'm using, would also transfer to the fourth board, the current board that the teacher is in. So just to show you, say for example, we are solving a physics problem and you're using the mouse, it's hard to, to write your solution. Like, well, this is easier <laughs> compared to Zoom annotation and it's smoother. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, I'll try on the iPad, which is better also. Like, if you have a pen for your iPad or even your mobile phones, this is really easy. Like, if I want to show the free body diagram, I can do so easily. F is equal to MA. And easily show it that F is equal to 5 multiplied by 10, 15 newtons. Wow. Easy breezy. Again, using the QR code, the students can freely write their solution on the screen, which makes their lives so much easier. To summarize, I think that this platform is pretty straightforward in its function. It has its own video conferencing or meeting feature. And inside that very platform, you can do your classes. I mean, you don't need to jump from one platform to another in doing this. Inside, you can make use of the tools and features for your classes. Well, personally, I think this platform is very beneficial for math or physics classes. Also for online tutorials for smaller classes. Teachers, do check Hey Hi out. The link is in the description box down below. And let me know your thoughts about this one. And please comment it down below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you again next week for more exciting contents. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye!